Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our keynote address by Mr. P. Narahari, IES Secretary, Department of MSME and Commissioner, MSME, and Secretary, Sports and Youth Welfare, Government of Madhya Pradesh. Pariki Panala Narahari is an Indian Administrative Services Officer of the 2001 batch of the Madhya Pradesh Charter. Narahari served as Collectors of Districts, Chingroli, Shioni, Collier, Indore for 10 years. He also served as Secretary of Revenue and as Commissioner and Secretary of the Public Relations Department, Aviation, Urban Administration, Technical Education, Cooperative and Food and Drug Administration Departments. Mr. Narayarik also served two times as Vice Chancellor of Makhildar Chaturvedi National University of Journalism and Communication, Bhopal. He is also a motivational speaker and has written eight books so far. Without any further ado, let's welcome him up on the stage. Please tell him, please join me in the good service. A very good afternoon to all of you. At the outset, I would like to thank the Financial Express uh, for organizing this wonderful event. Emerging Business Grow Workshops and this is the by Vision. I need to thank Sandeep Sonit, continuously uh, getting in touch with me and persuading me to be present. Uh, for this program. MSMEs today uh, are playing an extremely important and vital role in our country. And uh, I would say industry, uh, whenever we think of industry in this norm, big industries that actually represent me the industry as a whole, but in every city is the micro, small and medium industries which are the backdoor of our economy that actually truly represent the industry. So if you see in India, we have more than two pro registered MSMEs. And as I say, when I say registration, it is called, there is a concept introduced by government of India called Udyam Registration. So if anybody wants to establish an MSME, an industry will need to actually go on to this portal of Government of India and register. So in India we have this more than two pro registered relics. Why I have also mentioned here, there could be equally same number of unregistered MSMEs in our land. So there is a effort by government of India and all state governments to bring in all those unregistered MSMEs into the fold of the Udal registration. And this is very important because for policy makers like us, we need to have the complete data. And more importantly, the data has to be in which sector do these MSMEs actually are working. And in what category, which category do these MSMEs actually are doing their work? So all this data needs to be captured and that is an effort that we are all making to ensure that each and every MSME, whether it is in the manufacturing, production, or services, business, all of them, all of them need to be actually brought under the new registration. So you see there, you can see that in the micro category, there are about 190 lakh units. There are 5178 lakh small units, and there are 53,000 <coughs> media industries. So the classification is very clear because this, this classification is about two, three years for where it micro are the ones which have, which we can invest in the plant and vessel we have to want to go. Small units are enterprises or industries on the wells which make an investment of less than 30 CR. The media are the ones which make an investment from 10 to 50 CR. Now I was mentioning that MSMEs are making an immense contribution in an economy. So MSMEs contribute near about 20 percent to the India's GDP. They also contribute near 40 percent of the exports of our country and contribute to on 45 percent of the manufacturing output. And after agriculture, LSNEs are the second largest employer 
in our country. So you can understand or engage the importance of MSMEs in our country. And I, that's why I appreciate Financial Express when the team to reach out to tier two cities like Bombay. Let me talk about the cities because I always mention this that when the Prime Minister of our country says that we need to achieve and become the uh, an economy with about five trillion US dollars by 2025. And if we want to become the largest economy in the world by 2047, surpassing China and US, and this is only possible when we strengthen our NSNEs, when we empower our NSNEs, when we make suitable policies understanding the problems and issues that play the MSME ecosystem. So that is why I feel this, this is extremely important. And increasingly, and as I mentioned to you that in the coming years, we will see that more and more environment is generated in the MSME sector. And by 2032, there are going to be more than 36 crore employees in this particular sector. So what is the MSME scenario in Madhya Pradesh? So as much of equal contribution is done by SME to the state GDP, about 30%. And as I mentioned to you, like in our entire country, Madhya Pradesh also, this is the second largest contributor to employment in Madhya Pradesh, MSME sector. We have other 9.5 life with registrations. And I say, this is, these are registered new legs. And we've seen nearly about 12 to 13 lakh are other registered MSNDs in Madhya Pradesh. And we are making all efforts. We are also trying to ensure how we can incentivize registrations as well without putting pressure on MSNDs to get registered while ensuring that ease of doing business is equally important. We will not. Pressurize the NSM units to get registered, but we will incentivize in such a way that they register and may have the entire data that can be captured and policies can be designed accordingly. So we have more than 4,000 food processing food related MSM units. We have more than 200 formal MSM units with like drug licenses. We are the fifth largest producer of cotton in the country with more than 3,000 MSM units in the textile and the sector. We are focusing extremely on toys and furniture clusters, and we are hoping that in the coming days, we are going to have many more such clusters exclusively for the toy and furniture or units to be established, and we are highly incentivizing, especially in this particular sector. We are having two integrated plastic parks and we have more than 2,500 Pramavai and Engineering ever sent in units in Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh has a huge market. We are the second largest India by area with 7.7 crore population. Now I think you should be about 8 and a half of the light crore population if we take account to the current pollution or population. We are very well connected by all the NAN, trains, and the national highways. More than 550 trains, 1000 Madhya Pradesh every day. We are in the heart of Madhya Pradesh and all the train routes crisscross Madhya Pradesh. We have a strong infrastructure. We have six inland, inland container depots that parallel to Mandidu, Pitaldo, Tawar, Tawankhira, Tihi, and Dharma. Uh, we have a huge and abundant pool of skilled resource uh, with good number of graduates and technical professionals. The area where we probably see we are really contributing and going very fast is in the area of startups. We have come up with our uh, startup policy last year in the month of May. Honorable Prime Ministers of India was kind enough to launch our uh, 
integrated portal which has been integrated with the DPIIT portal of Startup India. And today we have more than 3,600 startups. These are recognized startups. And when I say recognized startup, once again, any startup who has an innovation or idea and has been able to go a process on engineering uh, or design simplification of the processes, you need to actually go to Startup India portal and register yourself. And such register startup is recognized by government of India's DTI and the start, Startup India portal. And that is when we consider that particular that particular startup to be a recognized startup. And we are very proud to say that more than 75% of these recognized startups are bubble-like startups. We have more than 65 <laughs> incubation centers, incubation centers covering varied areas. We have four RT incubation centers as well. We have six smart city incubation centers. We have two software technology parks. And we also have one apparel innovation center established by the Ministry of Textiles. As right here mentioned by Mr. Mosham Poya in his welcome address, there are many challenges that MSMEs are facing. And we need to acknowledge these, uh, these challenges. And we also need to, when we acknowledge these challenges, we will also be able to understand the problems and design policies suitably so that our MSMEs further flourish. So they, the MSMEs have a major problem of access to finance, lot of procedural issues, complex documentation, high interest rates, lack of awareness, pertaining to loans, government schemes, etc. They also have issues pertaining to infrastructure. Businesses are not aware of industrial parks or clusters. People do establish their units without understanding that one kind of infrastructure is being provided to the ground lives. There are several interrelated concerns pertaining to energy supply, sewage disposal, water amenities, road connectivity, solid waste management, etc. The most important thing everybody discusses about is the issue pertaining is of doing business. Even though there is a continued effort by both government of India and state governments to ensure that lesser omissions, lesser power, uh, compliances are that by the MSMEs. But still, there are issues pertaining to the ease of doing business which we all need to understand, acknowledge and then see to be make policies. Access to market is another area where MSMEs can see the pinch of the same. They mostly rely on local market whilst there is a huge opportunity of Ex, uh, exporting their product to states within the country or outside the country. For example, I would like to mention that by the Pradesh, in Madhya Pradesh, we have seen areas like Sagar, Vidisha, where there is an extremely competent market pertaining to agriculture implements. While they are doing a lot of business with southern states or eastern part of the country, there is a huge market with countries like uh, Vasak, countries like Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, which is highly unexplored. So, we are trying to work in that particular area as to how we can create market for our MSMEs. So, these issues pertaining to access to market, capacity building, uh, skilled manpower, skilled resources, and importantly, the new age technology related uh, scale map power is extremely, extremely poor or low. There are several green, green initiatives on from the, the, the uh, there is, the MSMEs are not that much concerned about the uh, green and sustainable development efforts and adopting of green technologies. There's always this issue of raw material procurement 
the issues pertaining to local vendors and uh, uh, there is issues pertaining to how to tap those vendors who are not within Madhya Pradesh or those outside the country. The issues pertaining to delayed payments is one of the most important concerns that industry associations and industries do raise. The delayed payments, payments by the buyers to the suppliers is not within is not done within time. Even though there is an FSME Act, which is here it says that within 45 days, the buyers need to actually pay the payments. But then there is always this issue pertaining to the buyer and the supplier. The buyer doesn't want to use uh, the, the supplier doesn't want to lose the buyer. The buyer is always having off a hand over the supply. Awareness regarding Samata portals and uh, new areas like threat platform. So we need to actually understand that how new age technologies can be adopted by MSMEs to become self-reliant. We need to work on all these areas. We need to make significant improvements in productivity and efficiency, which can really make our MSMEs competitive and profitable. So when we organize uh, the buyer-seller means with several countries now, we understand during these conversations, what we most importantly see is the product specifications, the product specifications and international standards, and competitiveness and the quality concerns. So we need to continuously work with MSN industry through all these areas. We need to focus on innovation in the MSN sector so that our MSNEs develop new and innovative products and services which can be competitive with the international market as well. Building strong brands that is extremely, extremely important because customers are continuously making a desert to only buy the branded items. We need to create a lot of global partnerships, that's what I was trying to tell that MSNEs need. There's a huge gap in this particular area. There needs to be more and increased participation of industry associations and organizations like CII, FICI, SOCHAM, BHD Chamber. We need to actually create more and more awareness and need to come in and become uh, uh, maybe supporters or hand on all these MSMEs. Access to finance and government support, this is what I talked about. And this is an area where financial assistance needs to be given to MSNEs during the initial stage or in the nascent stage of their establishment. We need to create more exports and looks of new markets, and that's what I was telling. We have extremely competitive MSNEs, but they do not know that there is a there is a market that is square. There are there is uh, there are this the units who want to uh, increase their uh, the, they want to increase the efficiency levels, the product uh, uh, cost efficiency, and do all those things. But we need to create new markets in this particular sector. The SMBs needs to be given incentives for exports as well. We need to develop new products and services. We need to invest a lot in research and development as well. This is what we are extremely lacking here. There is an effort by government of India and state governments to make up or to, to, to increase the uh, costing, to increase the spending on research and development to the extent of about 5%. As of today, we don't even spend 1% uh, of the total uh, profitability of the company in r &D. We need to build a strong team of MSMEs, create a sustainable business model in this area. So what has happened in recent days is a very extremely important slide that I would like to mention. The of India's efforts are ensuring that MSMEs do actually uh, their problems are solved to an extent. So these five disruptive interventions 
uh, for MSMEs has been done in the recent years. And uh, uh, gem marketplace, creation of gem, that is government key marketplace, there's a single window for procurement with goods and services by government buyers. And Madhya Pradesh has recently amended its procurement policy to accommodate gem. I think one extremely important initiative by government of India is owing this open lift for, for digital commerce. There's a lot of platform which is going to break all the e-commerce platforms, but in into uh, uh, but it is buying and selling onto this whole platform. It is unified open platform for e commerce in India. And already we are seeing many MSMEs registering themselves on the OTC platform. And this is going to create more freedom and independence for the buyers to have access to many sellers. Right. This is the this is other important initiative by government of India, World Bank Assisted Program to improve the performance of MSMEs in India. Huge amount of funds is being pumped into MSME sector, and in a state government state like Madhya Pradesh, we have submitted our NAP proposal to the extent of five million crores to answer all those questions that I have shown, all those issues and problems that I have mentioned in the slides. So this is going to be an extremely important area of oh, this particular program is going to really change the phase of MSNS in leading coming areas. CGTMSC, that is the great guarantee scheme for MSMEs. This is another important area where government of India has pumped about 9,000 crores earlier and is pumping another 9,000 crores for Ensuring that MSMEs do not submit any collateral while making notes. And in fact, CGTMSC is going to be one such platform where all your loans can be guaranteed. And this is another area, as I mentioned, we have access to finance. The answer to the access to finance lies in this particular CGTMSC scheme. Next. An important thing that we are also doing is focusing on micro small enterprises cluster development program. This is another important program that government of India has brought about three years back and is in the process of getting revised as well. And we hope that many such issues, problems of MSMEs will be resolved in the coming years through all these initiatives. And I once again appreciate the efforts taken by Financial Express and the dean of the team to coming to Bokali and trying to sit with all the stakeholders of MSNE sector and trying to not only understand but also be it awareness and also try to bring in more solutions. And for policy makers like us also it is an extremely important program wherein we take all the stream back that we need the that he did the from this program so that we ask a panel those questions in the future and coming days. Thank you once again for this wonderful initiative.